Okay, right now in my hands, and we've got some most common questions and raised up by our viewers. So the first one is, I'm curious to find out how Beijing's tourism industry survived the pandemic period. It seems that the domestic tourism is back on its feet. So how exactly does this done? Was this done? No, it's a really um, good question that I want to say. In fact, in these two months, the tourism industry in China, not only in Beijing, have uh, resumed quickly. Um, actually, we didn't open the tourism market for once. We do it step by step. Um, as you know, during this January, the COVID-19 was break out in China. As a new virus, we know little about this virus that is spread quickly and caused to death. So at the end of January, we made a hard decision that is stop everything on the society. So um, to the tourism, cancel all of the group tours and all the city sports shut down. So I have data that is um, the cancellation of group tours touch upon 760,000 visitors in Beijing. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's quite a, a lot. Yeah, quite a lot. And um, two months later, nearly the end of the March, we found that the virus was under control. So we tried to open the tourism market, that is uh, open the natural scenic sport, and at the same time, uh, the, the volume of the scenic sport kept it uh, to 30%. And uh, uh, one month later, at the end of the April, uh, we opened the inter-province uh, uh, group tours. And then, that is, we uh, opened the inter provincial group tours. So from then on to now, the tourism industry resumed quickly. So I think um, that's really good news for us. Definitely, we can see we just do it step by step and uh, little by little. So to make sure the total 100% safety and security of the travelers, that's very responsible. Yes. All right, here comes the second question. I want to connect with more suppliers and partners for my Beijing and China products, but how can I go about doing this? How, yeah. how they can how? reach our suppliers and partners? Yeah, that's a great question that we have a new initiative with this with really help that in the next six months, we will start a program that is called Beijing Tourism Expert, which is online uh, class that will help you to uh, understand some newly or deeply tourism production in Beijing. And at the same time, we will introduce some uh, DMCs, uh, which is recommend, uh, recommended official that we wish that uh, there after maybe one day we open the tourism market that we will give us give both of both of us that more chance for you to understand Beijing deeply and at the same time we will have chance to cooperate with the DMCs in China. And all this information will push on our official website. The website you can write it, that is www.visitbeijing.com.cn. Okay, so you will in many languages, like in Chinese, in English, in Spanish, in French. Yes, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, English and Japanese, Korean, uh, as uh, Spanish. Uh, uh, Spanish. Yes. Wow. So, <laughs> so we wish the global tourism companies could connect with us to help us to restart the tourism market. Let's do it together. Wow, great. You know, even for Beijing locals, definitely we we'll want to know more about like what kind of sightseeing we wow. can go there. So for us, definitely I would like to check on this website. Yeah, we want that through this uh, program the people will not only know that some world culture heritage, but know some deeply, which is help you to explore some local places in Beijing. Wow, really look forward to that. Yes. Okay, here comes the third one. Now that domestic tourism has restarted with experiences and areas have been more popular, and of those, what do you think would relate best to international markets. To international market. Yeah, so just now you mentioned there are all kind of like uh, products, new categories, 
But uh, of all those choices, like uh, what are best choices for our inbound travelers? Yeah, so firstly, I want to ask you a question, Matt. Have you visited Great War before, right? Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, many, many times. <laughs> Have you visited Great War at night? No, really? no. Yes. No. So this is one of that we want to promote the special explorer that travel in Beijing. Uh, from this August to the October, uh, we have a program called that Light Up Beijing. During this time, a lot of museums, uh, culture, uh, culture uh, uh, art galleries, and culture park like that, and we will light up at night. So, for example, the Great Wall, it will be lined up at the, each, on each Friday and Saturday. Actually, two weeks ago, I tried this route. It's really fantastic. Okay. You can imagine that you climb the Great Wall and, at night, and there are some colorful lights along with you. Wow. And when you see the, the, the sky, have uh -huh. a lot of stars. It's really a special experience when you travel in Beijing like that. Wow, that's <laughs> incredible. You know, yeah. I'm coming out with the picturesque themes, you know, it's like a star studded sky, and here you are climbing the Great Wall. I, it will make even heart thrilling that experiences. I really love that. Definitely, I'm gonna just uh, try that, even for <laughs> Beijing locals. I never tried that before, so definitely. Yeah, oh, okay. so besides that, we have some new um, tourism resources uh, we are want to promote, such as the uh, Front Street, uh, Tianmen Street, you know that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you know, Beijing now, okay, I have a question for you, the second All question. All right, okay. okay. Uh, do you know how many world culture heritage in Beijing? Many. Many, so <laughs> how are they? <laughs> About like uh, more than 100? More than 100. <laughs> oh, that's too many, right? Uh, okay. uh, let me see, like a dozen. So you can count it that. Sorry. 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 sorry, sorry. The world okay. culture heritage. A world, world culture, culture heritage. heritage. Yes. 10. So what are they? The Great Wall, the Forbidden City, uh -huh. the Temple of Heaven. Yes. The Summer Palace. Yes. Great. And then. What else? Tell me, please. So we have uh, the Ming tombs, yeah, and the, the Grand Canal from Beijing to Hangzhou. And at the same time, we are applying for the Eighth World Culture Heritage, that is Beijing Central Access Line. I know that know Beijing that. Central Access is definitely a huge fan of Beijing Central Access. Yes. The Central Access Line is especially tours, I think. That is because, um, so maybe I can use my paper to show that, you know, we are China, you call us China because we, in the history, we are famous to make China. But how we write China by ourselves? You're gonna draw so I want to show you that. <laughs> so, a square. Uh huh. And a middle line. Ah, oh, that's the that is, central axis. Yes, that is central axis. Uh -huh. At the same time, it is Zhong in Chinese. Mm -hmm. So why I say the central axis line is very important for us, that is, you can, you know the Forbidden City, mm -hmm. so you can see the square is like the Forbidden City, mm -hmm. and the middle line is like uh, the, it's like a bone of the people's body. Mm, backbone? Yeah, backbone. Mm -hmm. So you can say that in, in our sites, that is, we build the city based on this character. Mm -hmm. So along this row, we have a lot of old brand shops and the restaurant and have a lot of um, historical uh, culture, uh, culture site, it's really worth to explore the city's, the history of the city. Yeah, actually I know a lot of people are quite familiar with like uh, 
the drama and the bell towers, oh, yes. the Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden yes. City, but yes. they have no idea. They're all just along the center axis. So in the future or next time you come to visit us, I suggest you to try these tours. That's from the north is Yundingmen Gate. Uh, and the, along this road, you can to visit the front street and then to visit the Tiananmen Square, nearly like this place, and then to visit the Forbidden City. And then this is Jingshan Mountain, which is a bad place to make pictures, to, to, to have the whole view of the Forbidden City. Uh -huh. And then the bell drum, yes, and it will be the central axis line tours. So yes. it's nearly spend you one day. Okay, one day. One day That's yes. highly effective. I'm sure for me, definitely I'm going to just take a whole week to go <laughs> you know, little by little because every place, every spot along this central axis definitely of great significance of Chinese history and philosophy. Yes, yeah, so I think this is a way to help you to understand China mm. because it's like Chinese Zhong China. Okay, I love that idea. I love that idea. Yeah. Uh, just now, I to introduce the uh, Tiananmen Street, which is in front at the south of the Tiananmen Square. And the, here we have a program there called Beijing Fang, uh, which have some um, historical site and the modern building there. Mm -hmm. So if you visit there, you will find there have a lot of um, no, it has the ear. You will feel that you are, you are time traveling. You know, yeah, time traveling. Yes, <laughs> between the history and the modern, the modern. time. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I love that feeling. So very dramatic. Yeah. So if it's time to visit Beijing, you when you visit the Forbidden City, I suggest you to come to this Tiananmen Street to go to Beijing Fang to try. Mm, roast duck over there. I know that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next question. Wow, there are so many. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, pick the most common ones. So, here, in the last few years, a lot of my guests were put off traveling to Beijing because of their pollution. What's the situation right now? Wow. Well, yeah, I think maybe this question will be asked. Um, I want to say that yes, Beijing has had an issue uh, with pollution and a lot of media focused on that several years ago. Um, and I should say during these years, the air is much better than before. So I want that the photographer would do me a favor that later that help us to uh, make some uh, pictures about the surrounding of, of this which place we are uh, this place. Lofu Culture Center? Uh, yeah. oh yes, Lofu uh -huh. Culture Center. That is, I want to say, this is the top, we are on the top of this plaza, and it is located at the center of Beijing. Go to the east, you will see the CBD of Beijing, and the, to the west, you could see the Forbidden City and the West Mountain. I think the views is the best proof it's the best answer help me to answer this question. Actually, I did this job those days because I was quite amazed by the beautiful blue skies. Yes. You know, autumn is the best season in the city. So I took a short video every day. I tried to record like the changes of the weather and also the skies to my amazement. Every day, every yes. day, pretty, pretty clear blue skies in Beijing and marshmallow clouds hanging there. Oh, yeah. Like a dream. <laughs> I'm really proud of that. I yeah, really... me too. So I want to ask you that how do you go to work every day? Walking. Walking, that's a great way. That's the best choice. And I want to introduce my way. That is, mm -hmm. um, I will take a sharing bicycle from my home to the uh, subway and then transfer. So I think both this way, this way is, uh, could help us to save time, save money, and to protect the air. Definitely, very environmentally friendly. Cut yeah. a lot of carbon. So you know, yeah, the emissions. sharing bicycle is very popular in not only in Beijing, but also in China. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, and 
Prior to that, a lot of people were trying the public traffic to instead of like driving. I think not, um, in these years, the air pollution is under control. Um, one is because the government uh, do a lot of uh, a they, policy yeah, policy take on a that. a lot of measures. But the more is the people, we are try our best to help to protect our home. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you, if you next time when you come to visit Beijing, when you go to the street, you can see a lot of the citizens we take sharing bicycle. <laughs> so I really want you next time to try it this way to travel in Beijing. Mm -hmm. You will like a local people here. Even we've got a specific lanes for bicycles, you yes. know, you can ride the bicycle on the lane with a pretty high speed. Yeah, and you could go uh, take the sharing bicycle to go to Hutong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to, to the, a lot of the local places where the Beijingers like, live. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to go. Although I'm in Beijing, uh, <laughs> I still yeah, want to so say fine. welcome to Beijing. <laughs> Definitely, this is a fantastic place to explore. Yes, yeah, so walking and uh, pu uh, public traffic is all the best, uh, best choice I suggest to you. You can choice in, uh, in your uh, in when you travel in Beijing. Mm -hmm, definitely. Okay, so still there are a lot of questions, but I guess we are running out of time, so maybe... So you can leave your questions on the net or our official website we will answer you after uh, offline. Okay, so that's this part for the Q&A session. Thank you very much for answering all those questions. Uh, it's my pleasure that we will share some new products or some ideas about Beijing tourism when you travel in Beijing. So really we should um, start tourism in the future, you can come to visit Beijing to explore something different before. Yeah more than your imagination. Welcome. Yes, welcome.